The words came straight out of the president's mouth. In a Malacanang press conference, he said he would certify as urgent the sexual orientation, gender identity, and gender expression equality, or SOGI bill. Will you certify for the SOGI bill as urgent? Yes. Okay. Whatever would make uh, the mechanisms of uh, what, what would make them happy. But Senate President Tito Soto has a different interpretation of the president's remarks. Soto said Duterte was not certifying the SOGI bill as urgent, but may have been referring to an anti-discrimination bill similar to an ordinance being implemented in Davao City. I am told by E.S. Medaldia and Senator Bongo that uh, the president was misquoted. He is supporting an anti-discrimination bill pretty much like the ordinance in Davao, which is encompassing. Uh, you should not discriminate upon the elderly, upon the PWDs, upon uh, uh, gender or whatever. It's not like the SOGI na, SOGI na uh, nakatoon sa mga gays. The Senate leader earlier said the chamber could pass an anti-discrimination bill, but one that is not focused on members of the LGBTQ community. Soto added that even if the anti-discrimination bill is certified as urgent by the president, there is no guarantee that it will get the nod of lawmakers. A certification of urgency by the president does not mean that it will be passed. It's only uh, to do away with the three-day rule no? the, from second to third reading. But the question is, it, will it pass on second reading? There are a number of uh, bills that were certified by the President Urgent in the Congress. Eh, Soji Bill author Senator Risa Onteveros believes there's a policy confusion in Malacanang on how to address discrimination against members of the LGBT community. In a statement, Ontiveros said the Soji Bill remains the best measure to protect them while promoting equality and diversity. Reporting for News 5, May and Los Baños, we are One News. Are there sexual orientations and or genders beyond male and female? It's an age-old question in almost all societies. In the Lakota Indian tribe in the United States, gay men are not marginalized. The ancient Akkadians of the Middle East had the Salzirkum, biological females with male traits who were treated as religious royalty. In our pre-colonial history, Spanish missionaries took note of the Babaylan, high priestesses who included among them cross-dressing males. The Visayans had what they called the Asog, the Tagalogs, the Bayugin. According to the Boxer Codex attributed to Luis Perez das Marinas in 1596, it had been noted that male Bayugins slept with fellow males. It was in the late 80s and early 90s where usage of the term LGBT, referring to lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and transgenders, came to popular use. More letters have since been added, advocated for, and argued. The Vanderbilt University website acknowledges no less than 17 gender identities and orientations. Here are some categories, some terms, and some definitions, all of which many still question, are confused by, challenge, and debate. There's the intersex, referring to persons with variations in their physical sexual characteristics. The asexual and the aromantic are those who are not attracted to any gender. And then there's the pansexual, who may be sexually and romantically attracted to anyone of any gender by anyone's definition. So from LGBT, others now use LGBT, TQQ, IAAP, or many other permutations, or the simpler LGBTQ+. Confusing for many, even for members of the sector and academics who have opened up a whole body of research into the topic. But however the sector is called or defined for the LGBT plus community, it is all about inclusiveness where no person is ostracized according to any sexual orientation. For some members of the community, however, too much focus on naming all genders could have the opposite and possibly unintended effect, that is, of exclusion. But amid all the confusing letters and definitions, it is important to remember that it's all about preventing discrimination. And it is on that final phrase, that final term, preventing discrimination, that lawmakers and policymakers are now raising the question, can we maybe discuss ending discrimination without having to specifically refer to any gender. Celebrity hairdresser Ricky Reyes once experienced confusion on how a gay like him should express self. 
Nagbihis babae din ako when I were young. I did a lot of crazy things. But in a certain point, I stopped and I asked myself, what do I want for myself? In an interview with our news team, Reyes said he was invited to represent the LGBTQ plus community in Congress, but he declined. Ang gay sa Pilipinas, hindi naman din discriminate There's no such thing as discrimination. I'll, probably it's only in the pigments of their mind. Ito ay klarong kaso na hindi lahat ng oras, mother knows best. Trad's woman Naomi Fontano said Reyes does not understand that other members of their community need special attention. Mother Ricky, mukhang parang nakukulong siya doon sa kanyang sariling mundo. Kung saan, hindi niya alam na mas marami pa sa mga gay men ang miyembro ng ating komunidad. The LGBT community seems not exactly solid. The different communities that make up this rainbow coalition of lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and transsexuals have different views about what they want. Actor and comedian Augie Diaz agrees with the idea of equality, but he is not sure if the SOGI, or Sexual Orientation and Gender Identity or Expression Equality Bill, is the answer. Well, kung tatanggalin nila yung S, bagiging OGI Bill yan. Iba-iba kasi, kahit, kahit ako ay bahagi ng LGBTQ plus community, eh, magkakaiba kami ng mga direksyon, ng stand. Sa akin, kung, kung equality, pasok naman ako doon. Kung uh, yung walang discrimination, pasok pa rin naman ako doon. I don't have anything against transgender people. Ang sinasabi ko lang, lumugar tayo sa tamang lugar. Dahil hindi lahat ng tao gusto ng bading. Sapat na yung we are being tolerated of what we're doing. Everybody agrees any form of discrimination is bad, but they don't agree whether the LGBTQ community deserves a law against discrimination of their own. For News 5, Rio Fernandez, we are One News.